All righty, welcome to the stream. Um, so I guess this isn't like the actual stream. Um, I'm gonna be doing my hair and makeup before I like get into actually doing stream tonight. And tonight's gonna be like a fun little like festival fit pick from Shein, of course. Um, so let's just get into it. So I'm probably gonna do my hair first actually because um, I don't want to burn myself because I have this just like sitting here toasting. So I'm going to do my hair first. I'm also going to fix this shirt before I get banned from Twitch. I was trying to make it cute, but I don't want to get banned from Twitch. All right, I'm just gonna tie this shirt up. I think this is gonna work for all intents and purposes. Okay, looks good. So <laughs> I'm gonna do my hair first just cause my hair curler is on and I am afraid I'm going to burn myself. So let me do that first. Thank you, Polar Polly for following, appreciate you. I'm gonna section my hair. I already put heat protectant in my hair. So I am going to just curl it a little bit here and we're kind of just gonna hang out. Also get my mirror ready for my makeup so I can see myself. So I do already have some makeup on my face from work. I just wanna touch it up a little bit just so that it looks nicer because it doesn't always stay on my face. I'm going to start with, I try to do small sections, but honestly, this is not like a small section of my hair. Try to make this a little smaller here. And I just have, this is the Liange, Liange hair curling wand, and I just wrap it around. And then I just kind of hang out with it for like 15 to 20 seconds. Then I hold it in my hand a little bit here, and then I let it go. It looks like very curly right now, but it will will uncurl with time and look a little bit more natural. And I am gonna try to alternate which way I curl the hair just so it looks a little bit more natural. And I'll also hold some pieces for longer than I hold others, um, just so that again it has like a little bit more of like a natural curl to it and less of like a you just curled your hair and it's all <laughs> it's all together in one large curl on each side, which I do not like that look anymore. I do have on a heat protectant glove or like heat resistant glove um, just because <laughs> I've burned my hand like several times um, with this and I just feel like I do have my hair curl up pretty high, so just so that, like, I can hold the curl um, after I curl my hair, I just feel like it is helpful to have the glove. Um, I don't I don't know how many people use gloves versus how many people don't, but I am one of those, those glove individuals. You can also get, if you don't want a full glove, they also have gloves that are just, like, the thumb and the first finger, um, so that it's really just, like, a little bit of glove, but I don't know. I feel like with the glove, I feel like I can really get in there and get, like, a good curl on my hair, and I don't have to worry about burning myself, so for me, I'm, like, a whole glove person, um, because I have accidentally grabbed this curling iron, and <laughs> it was brutal. Uh, my hand was in so much pain, so I was like, wow, maybe I should wear two gloves, honestly. <laughs> so with this piece, I'm going to curl it the other way. I'm kind of trying to grab pieces on the top and then pieces underneath so that I can get all these little baby hairs as well kind of in here. I'm just alternating it a little bit. I really like, like, the look of my hair curled, but it just really doesn't last, so it's just kind of a bummer. But I do, I try, like, all the tricks, like, you try to let your hair cool, like, a little bit in your hand so that it stays 
like starts to cool curled a little bit. So it's not bad. I feel like when I curl my hair, you can really start to see that it's like it's dyed and that it's in fact different colors and where, where they are. All right, I'm gonna maybe, I'm gonna separate this front piece into two. So I'm gonna curl this one the opposite way. And I'm gonna curl, I try to always curl like the front couple pieces um, away from my face, just so that they're not like curling into my face. Um, so this one I am curling towards my face-ish. And then I'll curl these front two away from my face, just so it has, I don't know, nicer look, I guess. <laughs> so my streaming mic that I had, it like, I don't know, it was going kind of crazy, so I ended up returning it, and now I'm going to reorder something else, and I don't know if I'm going to reorder, like, another, like, standard mic, or if I want to try to get one that, like, clips onto my shirts, because um, I've seen, like, a lot of other, like, streamers that have the ones that clip onto their shirts, so I don't know, I think that'd be kind of cool. But I've been watching, like, podcasters, like, people that are, like, actually serious and into podcasting, and they have, like, the standard mics. So I'm like, I don't know. Like, is there a trade off? I'm guessing the ones that, like, are more standard and don't clip onto your shirt are probably, like, better, like, sound quality, and you can do more with it as opposed to the ones that clip onto your shirt. But honestly, I don't, I don't know that much about, like, microphones. And, like, I don't know. I really, I didn't think, like, with streaming that, like, I was ever going to get to be, like, affiliate or anything, so I'm, like, I'm never going to figure this out, and now here I am, like, trying to, like, figure it out, so. All right, I'm going to move on to, this looks so crazy, I'm going to move on to the other side of my hair here. This shirt looks so crazy, but, I don't know, I couldn't find, like, a better way to tie it. Okay, now I've untied it completely. Let me tie this. I got this shirt to wear to work, so I feel like it's, like, an appropriate work shirt. Plus, it's, like, I feel, like, relatively light and breezy, um, mostly because it's from Shein, so it's kind of cheap quality. I think maybe we could do... I don't know. That's not doing anything. Okay. Well, I'm going to hurry up and do my hair and makeup, then I can get into something cuter. <laughs> so I'm sitting here. I feel like I'm, like, about to go on vacation sitting here in this shirt. That's okay. We love good vacation vibes. It's funny because I actually have two of these gloves. I have one that I use just like every day that I keep with my curler. And then I have one in my travel bag just because I feel like it's something that I never remember to pack whenever I travel. So I just bought a second one because they're like $3 or like $4. I don't know. They're probably like 5 or $6 now on Amazon. You could get them, like, anywhere, but they're, like, relatively cheap, so I'm, like, okay, I'll just buy, like, another one just to have in my, like, travel bag just in case I forget, but now that I bought the second one, now I feel like I remember to pack the glove, so, like, I'll, like, sometimes unzip my travel bag, and I'll have, like, two gloves, and I'm, like, oh, nice. <laughs> All right, this one I'm going to curl the opposite way. I do try to keep, like, a little bit of hair out at the end just so it doesn't have, like, the super, like, ringlety curl look. It has, like, a little bit more of that natural look. But I really wish that I could curl my hair, like, how they curl it, like, at the salons after I get my hair dyed. That is always beautiful. Okay, this is too big of a chunk of hair that I've grabbed here. I've been trying to grab smaller pieces of hair just so that hopefully it'll like last a little bit longer. But I feel like my problem is I get tired of curling my hair and I'm like, I want to be done with this. Then I'll just like speed through and just grab like big chunks of hair and that's not how you keep your hair curled. <laughs> I've also been trying to hold it like a little bit longer in my hand. All right, 
it was going to be like a front. I guess I could do like a big. I want to do too small of a section also. I guess it'll just be like a big, bigger front section here. Just try to hold my hair for a little bit longer. I guess this could have been three, but that's okay. Just do two. I'll just hold it in my hair for a little bit longer. I also don't want my hair to just like singe off. I've definitely, <laughs> I've seen those videos where people's hair just like falls off. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I don't know what they were doing, but I'm going to try not to do that. And I'm going to do this last little front one, and then we'll get onto the top section that I have like haphazardly tied up. <laughs> I feel like I only grab like a little bit of hair for the top section when I do it. Um, I don't know why that is, but like the more sections you do, I feel like it's like the more like varied the look is and things, but I don't know. I'm too lazy to do more than, more than two sections. So we just have the two and this is like barely a section. This is just so that I can get a little bit closer to my roots up here and make sure that like it's not like oh your roots are really flat and then <laughs> the bottom of your hair is curled then here I can get like a little bit closer to the roots but back in the day I don't know if it's like still like in style to straighten your hair even like <laughs> to have your hair super straight but unfortunately that's how I wake up with my hair but I like had like, a hairstylist straightened my hair, and she did, like, so many sections of my hair, and she got my hair, like, so flat. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. This is not what I do every day. But same thing for curling. Like, if you do a bunch of sections, I think it would probably look really nice, and it would be a different look. Okay, I guess... I don't want to do two little sections here, so unfortunately there's going to be one big section. Just hold this one a little bit longer here. I love the way my hair looks when it's curled. My hair just doesn't love being curled, so that's okay. We just have to agree to disagree, I feel like, as I always say. I'm going to start this section off by... curling it this way. I thought I was curling it in reverse, but now that I'm looking at it, I did not curl it in reverse. Also another, I guess, like, fun, fun, sad fact about me is, like, I get my left and right confused so, like, badly. <laughs> so for me, like, if people try to, like, verbally tell me directions, like, I can't do it. I'm like, I have to pull it up on my GPS. Like, not that I don't trust you, I just have to, like, visually see the arrow going left or right. Otherwise, I can't do it. So I guess I have, like, a harder time with that. Okay, so now this one's going the opposite direction. I'm just trying to keep a little bit of that end out just so it looks a little bit more naturally curled, but love the look. I just don't do it that often and it doesn't stay that well when I do it. All right, I'm going to split these into, so I'll do top and bottom here. I also still have a side part, like a typical millennial. I haven't switched to a middle part yet. Don't come for me. I've done it a couple times and it looks okay. I just, I don't think it's my every day. All right. 
it looks pretty good. And then after this, we're gonna move on to the makeup portion. I'm gonna touch up my makeup a little bit here. I'm not gonna do too, too much because I already do have like pretty much all my products on my face. I just need to match them up so they look fresher. All right, let me put this hopefully on the ground somewhere where I don't step on it. Okay, let's do a little quick little hair flip here. Okay. And get a little bit of, like I love this, love this volume, like, love that, love this for us. All right, I'm gonna go with a little bit of my Verb Ghost hair oil. Just put a little oil in this. I forgot to bring my hairspray with me, so it's just gonna be hair oiled for now, but just kind of make it a little bit shiny and nice there. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna smooth out my little flyaways here, and oh, we have a lot of flyaways. <laughs> Did I forget to curl a piece of my hair? What is this? Oh, it's just separated from the other one. <laughs> I was like, I did a terrible job on my hair. But, like, right now it's, like, very, very curly. But I know it's going to uncurl to be, like, a little bit more natural and look nice a little bit later. So it'll be ready for my festival stitch stream. But for now, I'm going to touch up my face. I'm also going to try a new powder that I got in today. So... Pretty hyped on that. I'm gonna scoot this a little bit downwards here. I don't break this whole thing. Okay. I'm gonna scoot this down a little bit here. My mirror over here. Move my iced tea. Actually, this is my iced tea. This is lemonade. Um. Okay. I'm going to first touch up my foundation a little bit here cannot see anything. I don't think I've adjusted the camera that well. Whoopsies. Okay. I'm just going to do a little bit of foundation just to, just to touch things up. I honestly probably should end my makeup before my hair, but I have limited space on the desk in front of me, and I had already turned on my hair curler for I don't know what reason, so I did my hair first. Actually, this part of my part actually looks pretty decent. It looks pretty straight, given that I just did it without a comb. Which is also one thing my sister makes fun of me for doing. Um, I'll just, like, wake up, like, with my side part and just, like, go to work and proceed. She's like, you don't, like, comb your part, you know, so it is straight. I'm like, no, I don't. She's like, you're so embarrassing, you know. You don't even, like, you have, like, an embarrassing side part and you're not even, like, combing it so it's straight. I'm like, no, I just <laughs> I get up at, like, 9 when I probably should have been at work at, like, 8.30 or 8. And I'm like, well... Just whatever I can slap on my face in a couple minutes here since I'm already late. <laughs> and I work from home, too, which is sad. I can't even, like, open my laptop at 8.30. That's okay. All right. I'm just touching it up with a little bit of my Uoma Beauty Foundation here. I'll put a little bit on my neck, but not too much. So I'm going to be trying on clothes and probably not keeping most of it based on how things with Shein go. <laughs> but... This is my You Want Beauty Foundation. I touched up with a little bit my beauty blender. Normally I wet the beauty blender, but I am far away from everything that I need right now. Okay. So I got this in today. This is the Juvia's Place. It is um, like a loose powder. Oh, my gosh. So I got this mailed to me, and I guess it, like, all, like, fell out because it is all in here. So I'm going to have to try to put some of this back into the container here. Um, oh, my gosh, it's, like, getting all over me because I just want to put, like, a little bit into the lid and then put it on my face. But this is Okay, I don't want to just dip my brush in here, but I guess that's what I'm going to have to do because I don't really have time to try to put this whole container in here. Like, literally half of it is, like, on top right now. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to dip my brush in here and hope for the best. I guess, okay, I'll put a little bit in this lid. So, this is, 
I've been trying to like use, oh my gosh, this is getting powder everywhere. This, <laughs> I've been trying to find like a more cost effective or like, I don't know. I guess I've just been trying to find like a cheaper powder that could replace my Laura Mercier one I normally use. And so this one is, this one actually is, it is like the side-by-side -side comparison. It's not that much cheaper, but this one is $14 for half an ounce. And the Laura Mercier one I normally get is $39 for one ounce. So this is like $28 for for an ounce, I guess, like if I bought two of them. So it saves like $10 plus like on this brand you could use like those 20% off coupons that Ulta gives out or like the three, the 350 off 15s if you bought like a little something else. So this could be coupon down to be cheaper. So I'll see how I like it. So far, I feel like it looks pretty nice. I just need to <laughs> put everything that came out back into the container. But I'll also see tomorrow. I will, if I get up on time, I'll try to do like a before work makeup video and I'll show you guys this and then you'll be able to see it like in like my um like evening stream what it looks like and how it held up throughout the day so we'll see so if it holds up the same as the laura mercier i'm just going to stick with this because it's slightly cheaper but if not then we're back to the drawing board but i've heard really good things about that powder so expectations are i don't know i wouldn't say expectations are high but i i have expectations <laughs> All right, I'm also covering this up just a little bit, just a little touch up here. I'm getting my hair all over my face. Um, just a little, a little touch up here with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Foundation. This can be used by itself just with like the little, the little spongy thing that comes with it, but I have a liquid foundation on instead. I just use this for a little bit more color and coverage, so. I just brush mine on, but it can go, it can be put on with just a little spongy thing also. I am now going to go in and touch up my bronzer. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Physicians Formula Matte Minoy Butter Bronzer. This one is scented. Um, I can't smell that well, so I think it smells like chocolate, but I don't know, it probably smells like coconuts or something. It's got like, a, it's got a Hawaiian flower on the front, so it probably smells like something Hawaiian. But I feel like this is definitely one of the better bronzers that I've used. I think I've bought, like, their regular, the Physician's Formula bronzer, the non-matte version, and I really like that one. But I bought the matte just because I'm always trying to make my face look more matte, um, which I think is also fully going out of style. Now it's more about luminous, but I'm always so oily. I'm like, I don't want to just look oily from the get-go, but that's on me, I guess. But this is, I feel like, one of my one of my more favorite bronzers because I've I've rebought it, so that tells you something about it. Because I used enough of it that I used the whole thing, and then I liked it enough that I went and bought it again. <laughs> I don't know if I have some sort of filter on on my stream, but I feel like my makeup looks really good. <laughs> In person, it's not as good. In person, you can see my acne scars a little bit, but that's all right. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> We've all been there. I'm not going to go into my little NARS blush, and I'm going to just blush my cheeks a little bit here. Just going to smile where my cheekbones are and just kind of push this up towards my hairline. I unfortunately have, like, a really circular round face, so <laughs> I didn't, I don't have that visible of cheekbones, so i got to try to try to emphasize them and, like, draw them in here. <laughs> But I didn't use blush, for, like, this is, like, my first time, I would say, like, using blush in my life, and I've been doing makeup for probably, like, 12, 13 years now on myself, so, I don't know, it looks pretty nice, I just, I don't know, I just feel like I don't really know how to use it, and I was just worried I wasn't going to like it, but it's really, it's not bad, I kind of like the vibe, I've been doing it for the past several months, so, I kind of like it. But I had only bought the travel size of this because I didn't know, like, if I was going to, if I was going to like the vibe. But so far I do. I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Ofra highlighter here. 
and just touch up my cheeks a little bit. I need that little glow, that little festival glow. Highlight the top here and try not to highlight my eye bags too much. All right, looks pretty good. Pretty good. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of eyelid color too, just to kind of brighten things up here. So I'm gonna go with my KVD Shake Primer. I'm gonna try to actually shake this well this time so that it's doing its thing. I'm really only gonna put on like one eyeshadow color, but May as well look at, make it look pigmented and nice, and it'll stay on my face. Although I am going to go to bed probably in like four hours, so it doesn't need to last that long. Just spreading this over my lid here. All right, I'm going to go in with my Natasha Denona little palette here. This is the mini nude palette. And I thought this was going to be my everyday palette, but I don't know. I'm kind of getting lazy on the everyday to do anything. <laughs> so I am just putting this on the, like, outer part of my eyelid. And then I'm going to just start, like, sweeping it over a little bit here. So just giving my eyes a little bit of that depth and dimension. I could have done this with my bronzer as well if I wanted, but i got to try to use all these eyeshadow palettes that I bought. <laughs> I feel like that's something that I have done a decent job of is not having too, too many eyeshadow palettes. Um, right now I definitely am on the higher end of eyeshadow palettes. I think I have like four right now, but... You saw any of my past makeup videos. I bought this one from Makeup Revolution to do like a little bit of like a darker makeup look because I have this darker lipstick that I like to do like a pink purple look with. Um, but I just did not like the way the colors came out in it. So I just have not used that one much. And I think it's probably going to go. So then I'll only have three. But <laughs> I bought this one for every day. And then, I don't know, I just... I feel like the colors are not, like, that pigmented in it. Like, I think just because they're, like, nude, neutral colors. But I bought, like, a little Tarte eyeshadow palette anyway to use as every day. So then I just have two little everyday palettes, even though I never do. On the everyday, I don't do any eyeshadow, which I should. All right, I'm going to make it a goal. I'll I'll try to make it my goal to, like, go to bed on time and... do a little makeup in the morning and do a little shadow make this a melatonin monday <laughs> i probably i probably shouldn't i shouldn't say that but that's okay it's been said okay i'm gonna put on a little bit of my um la girl lip primer i did buy this one as a cheaper alternative to the mac prep and prime that i normally use to prime my lips um i don't know if i like this one as much and I think there's probably other lip primers that are going to be in between this and the MAC one that are going to work great for my needs. I don't normally put this on when I have lipstick on already because it does get the color onto this. And then I have to wipe it off. Um, but i got to re-moisturize here. I don't remember what lipstick I was wearing today. <laughs> um... So I'm just going to put on a different color. Okay, just try to wipe off all this color that I've put onto here. Okay, nice. <laughs> Honestly, this could kind of work as lip color, but anyway, just put my finger in this. Because this LA Girl one, I think this one was maybe like 2 or $3. I don't know if I'm underselling LA Girl. They do have like a lot of very ex inexpensive stuff. Um, so it was, I don't know, it was like maybe $5 max. And then the Mac one is like $20. So I feel like there's probably something that's between $5 and $20 that will work for me. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired of spending $20 on like essentially a chapstick. 
Although my like nighttime chapsticks that I that I use is like twenty six dollars, I think, or twenty three from Fresh Fresh Cosmetics, the fresh sugar one. But that has to like stay on my lips for extended periods of time, so I felt like that was worth the splurge. This one is really just to prep my lips for lipsticks. I'm just going in with a little bit of my eyeliner that I put on my eyes today. This is the KVD Tattoo Liner. Just trying to do a thin little line here and just touch up what is gone. And also going with my Armani Eyes to Kill just to touch up the mascara that's already on my eyes. Just make sure none of the shadow mostly got in my lashes because I don't like that look when I touch up my eye makeup and then my shadow like gets glitter or something or gets like a little bit of color in my eyelashes and I just have like powdery eyelashes. So a trick I saw the other day on the internet to do like lashes better is to go in with a nub first of the mascara wand and then I just comb it out. I don't know. I feel like this mascara, I feel like I have, like, a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I really like it, and I'm, like, about to go buy some. And then sometimes I look at it, and I'm like, eh, it's all right. So, I don't know. I feel like it's pretty good mascara. Like, it makes my lashes look good, but I guess we'll have to see how I'm feeling about it at the end. Because sometimes, like, when you get, like, a new mascara, like, it is hard to deal with because, like, so much product I feel like is coming out at the beginning it makes it difficult to deal with and so like after the first few uses you can like really see how the mascara is and if you like it um so for me I think I'm just starting to get into that point because I think this is probably like the fourth or fifth time I've used this mascara so it's starting to get to that point where like it's starting to not be too much product that's coming out each time I'm gonna try to touch up my brows a little bit just because they took off Some of that brow color when I went back in with my foundation. Just kind of touch these up a little bit here. Touch up the front where I spilled a little bit of my new powder on. Okay. It's not bad. They don't look super symmetrical, but honestly, that works for me. <laughs> as long as they look, they look decent. So, let's go back a little bit. So, here is, let's get the camera up also. Here is the final look. So, after this, I am going to do um, a little fun festival fit outfit try on. So, if you're interested in kind of some fun festival fits or watching me try stuff on, um, stick around in a couple minutes. I'm going to start that stream up. Uh, but thank you all for hanging out with me on this stream. Um, really appreciate you all. Hi, Brian. <laughs> really appreciate you all for hanging out with me. And hopefully I see you in the next stream. And hopefully you like this look. I think this is definitely not a festival look, but <laughs> it's, it's the most I'm going to do at, at 9.30 p.m. where I'm at. So anyway, hopefully I see you in the next stream. Um, but thank you all for hanging out with me. Really appreciate you all. Um, and if you are watching, you're not following, I'd really appreciate um, you following and just showing your support for me. But anyway, um, have a good rest of your evening, everyone.